Today we will be looking together, God willing, at chapter 6 of S.M. Houghton's work, Sketches from Church History, and we will be addressing a very important topic, and that is the rise of the papacy. Now, what I tend to find is that many Americans, in particular Christian Americans, are unclear as to where the papacy came from. It uh, is something that uh, suddenly appears. Uh, they read the Bible and they see apostles, they see elders, they see deacons, they see a very simple uh, church structure, dare I say, a Presbyterian church structure. Incidentally, Presbyterianism uh, comes from the word uh, presbyter, or pre uh, and then uh, uh, the presbyter is a, uh, an elder. It refers to his age, because the idea was that when you were old, you were younger. This is the only generation that is thought that the younger are smarter than the older. And the people who have no life experience or wisdom are the best people to lead. It isn't the case, but, you know, whatever. Moving on. Uh, so we see in church history the rise of this monumental church structure, and we see the rise of a hierarchy uh, that we don't find in the Old uh, or New Testaments. We see the uh, we see a, a pope. We see a uh, we see archbishops and cardinals and all of these people at different ranks. We see a pyramid going up to uh, the 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 pope in Western Christianity. Of course, in Eastern Christianity, eventually we're going to see a patriarch. But in any event, as I said, we're going to be starting now with chapter six. So let's go ahead and get started with chapter six of S. M. Houghton's. Sketches from Church History, today looking at the rise of the papacy. Where did the, uh, the structure of medieval Roman Catholicism come from? Before I get started, I'll begin with a word of prayer. God, our gracious Father, we ask.